An authorization is similar to a sale transaction, however, the important difference is that an authorization will never transfer funds to your account until you tell it to. A sale will trigger a transaction to settle at your next settlement time, however, an authorization just is authorizing the funds at the customer's bank and is waiting for you to manually capture that at a later date. Let's walk through how to do one. So over here in the virtual terminal interface, I have an authorize link. When I click that, I'm taken to a form that is very similar to the sale form. Actually, it's exactly the same. So what I can do is enter my customer's information. I'm going to enter a very basic transaction. We're going to authorize $20. So now that I have the required field set up, and I'll actually I'll provide a CVV in addition. So now I have the card information, and I want to authorize this. I can enter, again, as much of this as I'd like, but I'm just going to skip over it for this example and click Authorize. I'm taken to the transaction successful screen, very similar to when I run a sale. However, I see up here in the transaction type it says card authorization and the amount of $20. So I have all my transaction information here, as well as a transaction ID. I'm going to copy this because I will need it for later. As of right now, these funds have been authorized and the customer will see the authorization on their bank statement. However, those funds are not going to move to my account until I tell it to. So in order to do that, I need to go to the capture page. On the capture page, we ask for a transaction ID and an amount. If you have the transaction ID, you can paste it right here. After pasting it, we'll autofill the amount of $20. You can capture for the full amount or less than the full amount, whichever you would prefer, but just know that you can only capture once per authorization. However, if I don't know the transaction ID, I can click this magnifying glass here, and I'm taken to my reports page. I'm just going to do a basic search, and I can see I have my card authorization right here. It's pending capture, so it's awaiting me capturing it. And if I click on the transaction ID, I'm taken to the transaction detail page, and I have a link up here to capture. This takes me right back here where we autofill the transaction ID and the amount. I'm going to capture, and finally, there we are. With all the information, it is a card capture, and this will be funded at my next settlement.